time for us to go behind enemy lines presented by windows 11. pleased to be joined now by matt taylor the voice of the indianapolis colts the colts playing some good football right now a sunday night win in the downpour and that's an understatement in san francisco 30 to 18. matt Talk to me about your football team and what has really developed with the Colts since we saw one another last month. They're playing complimentary football right now on, on both sides of the ball, and it's, it's good to see. But I think the biggest catalyst has been Carson Wentz. He's just playing uh, really, really solid football from his uh, quarterback position right now. And uh, I don't know what else more you want in terms of what they're getting out of that leadership role on the offense right now. I mean, if you look at his last four games, he has four straight games with multiple passing touchdowns and no interceptions. And so he's pushing the ball down the field. The Colts are getting chunk play after chunk play, and he's taking care of it. So that just goes to show that he's got command of the offense. He knows what Frank Reich is asking of him. He's taking care of the football. So that's a big. That's the big reason why the Colts have kind of turned it around. What do you like about the Colts' defense that you're seeing right now, Matt? Takeaway ability. Quite frankly, that's it. You know, they've given up yards and they've given up points at times this season. But that, that, that unit just has an innate ability that when, when they have to make a play, when their backs are against the wall, they come away with a takeaway. They had four against San Francisco. The week before against the Texans, they had three, so seven in the last two games. They have 16 on the season. And the guy that kind of drives the ship in that regard is Darius Leonard. I mean, he is, he is so good at being able to again just make those clutch plays let's talk a little bit about special teams what's the kicking situation right now for the indianapolis colts their primary kicker rodrigo blankenship is banged up the colts have uh, picked up michael badgley uh, the former charger kicker and uh, ironically he was with the colts in 2018 in training camp in the preseason behind adam Vinatieri that year so they were familiar with them they brought him in he is going to be their kicker for the foreseeable future until uh, Blankenship can come back and get healthy. But he's done a nice job. Hasn't missed a kick in a small sample size in, in two games. I'm fascinated with how the Colts get better every year during the season under Frank Wright. Talk to me, if you would, about why you think that is. The Colts sort of embrace the uh, mentality and the mindset of their head coach where they don't get too high, they don't get too low. I mean, if you just watch Frank Reich on the sideline, you know he's a pretty stoic guy, and you know that he's not going to um, you know, freak out one way or, or another over a loss or how the game's going. He's a pretty solid, steady individual, and so I think the Colts kind of feed off of that. The Titans and the Colts are done with one another by Halloween. Still nine weeks to go in the season. In some ways, I think that makes Sunday's game extra important. How do you see it? You can do the math. You can look at the standings. You can you can see how good Tennessee's playing. They're not going to fade away. The Colts know. The fan base knows. This is pretty much a must-win game for the Colts in order to kind of climb back to the top of the AFC South. Matt Taylor, voice of the Indianapolis Colts, thanks as always for your time. My pleasure, Mike. Good to be with you.